right. All right, sir. Um, what goes into naming a new ship in the Navy? Well, one of the great things about being Secretary of the Navy is you get to name new ships for, for the Navy. And there are various naming conventions. For DDGs, one of them is former Secretaries of the Navy. And Paul Ignatius had such a distinguished career, not only as Secretary of the Navy, but also as Assistant Secretary of Defense. He was a, a junior naval officer during World War II. He served on a carrier. He, um, he's had uh, leadership roles in service to America in a number of different ways. And it was an easy choice. I think it's, it will be one of the most distinguished names in the fleet and as I said at this um, at, <coughs> at the naming ceremony, uh, this ship will be in the fleet for decades, and the name and the legacy of Paul Ignatius will, will be out there for that long. And finally, I think it shows his legacy by the fact that he uh, that that there were so many. I think there were six former secretaries of the Navy or acting secretaries of the Navy who came to this naming ceremony. That shows the respect in which he is held by the people who've also held this job. What is the significance of a naming ceremony, sir? Well, it's to formally give the name to the ship. Um, the Ignatius is going to be built in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Uh, the keel has not been laid yet. So now, instead of it being DDG-117, it is pre-commissioning unit Ignatius. Um, we'll have a sponsor for it. Uh, and as the ship is built, the name Ignatius will connect to that ship and the family will connect to that ship and so you'll have that long-term bond between the name and the namesake. And what message would you give to the future crew of the Ignatius? Well, you're on one of the most important ships that the U.S. Navy has, a, a DDG-51. It's flexible, it's a workhorse of the fleet, able to do simultaneously subsea, surface, air, and ballistic missile defense and offense. And we don't have a more critical or a more flexible platform than the DDG-51. It's also one of our most technologically advanced. So take good care of her. And I know that our people, our sailors, our Marines are up to this task. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir.